What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics and I today I was gonna tell you guys how to paint the back of a background even though there's a million and one videos for it but uh I started re-watching the footage that I've already filmed and realized that I was rambling a lot like I normally do and I filmed this over the course of like six hours at like you know 8 p.m to like 2 or 3 in the morning so it's about 2 in the morning now and uh yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do a brief overview, and then we'll return back to uh, the, my other rambling. So basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want your aquarium. You're going to want to, you know, prep before it's set up, pre preferably, but you can do it when it's uh, set up as well. And you're going to take either a latex paint or an acrylic paint or something along that lines. I prefer latex, uh, the Rust-Oleum flat black for furniture type of stuff that they use. And I like to use a roller. It gives a better finish, in my opinion. Um, some people use a brush, but you're going to want to go ahead and put the very first layer on. That very first layer is going to be really thin. Remember to get your brush wet, um, not too wet though, like I did on this accent, I, I forgot to wring it out. Um, but just a little bit wet, just enough so it doesn't soak up the paint. And uh, lay your first layer of paint on. It's not going to be very thick, it's going to be really, really thin, really, really transparent. That's okay, you just want it to kind of put something on the glass. Once that dries completely, your second layer is gonna go on really, really heavy, and then keep going until you can't see the light from behind it. So what I do is I usually just use the overhead lights and I look from down below and kind of look up, and if you can see holes, that's where you need to paint. Um, but yeah, I did this in three coats of paint. The first one was really transparent. The second one put most of the paint down, and the third one kind of covered up all the holes. And uh, yeah, you get your painted background. And so, as usual, we're gonna go ahead and return back to my rambling if you guys came here and don't mind watching this in three, two, and... All right, so those of you that follow my channel, we have a new tank. It's a little 10 gallon. I kind of teased about it on my community tab. I already know what I'm putting in it. I wanna do it quick. I've got the plants ordered. I've got the fish will be ordered this week from my local fish store. I've got the wood for it ordered. I've got all the parts for it already. Um, I already had the filter and the heater and all that. Um, so I'm literally, I just had to get the tank and the stuff to go in it. So we're in my uh, garage today. Excuse the mess. It's kind of all over the place. We're still getting new furniture and painting and all that stuff. But I wanted to go ahead and paint the back of this 10 gallon aquarium and then just kind of show you guys how to do it because I get questions all the time. And it's really, really easy. Um, not very hard to do at all. So the things you're going to need are a roller. Um, I prefer a roller. I know some people use a brush, but I find that the roller does a better finish overall. Um, I'm doing a small one because it's a 10 gallon. I think this is like a six inch roller. Um, but you know, obviously if you've got a big tank, you could do a big like 12 inch roller, but that's kind of up to you. And then the paint that I use is this Rust-Oleum latex. Um, some people say this isn't the right stuff to use. Some people say this is. I have it on all of my tanks. I think it looks good. It looks fine. It works real easy. And it's at my Home Depot, which is super important because it's readily available. And uh, this way I just know and I can match if I ever need to touch up. I can find it. It's not like a special ordered paint or anything like that. The other thing is I'm actually going to be really lazy. I'm literally going to pour the paint from the can onto the back of the aquarium just because I'm only doing a single 10 gallon. I don't want to waste a paint tray or anything like that. Um, so that way I can just get a nice, thick, smooth coat. And uh, yeah. So the very first step is you're going to want to take your roller and you're going to want to get it wet. Uh, this one's dry. I haven't gotten it wet yet. But getting it wet kind of prevents the paint from soaking up in it, makes it easier to clean up and uh, just makes it kind of work a little bit better. All right, and so after you get this wet, I went ahead and got this wet. You don't want it dripping wet. Um, you just want it wet enough just so it's not quite dry. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just pour this stuff straight onto it. Um, some people use acrylic paint. I like the latex paint. It peels off really easy. Um, you can tell I'm kind of messy, but uh, yeah. So like I said, if you're doing a bunch of tanks or you're doing a bigger tank, I'd recommend getting a paint tray and doing it that way. Um, but since it's just a 10 gallon, I'm just gonna pour it straight on and uh, hope for the best. So this roller isn't working too, super well. It doesn't spin very much. Um, and I knew that it's kind of dirty, didn't clean it, it was lazy, still had a little too wet, but a uh, oh, wet little do. Um, I always find even wet, not wet, the first coat is usually really, really, really thin. Um, I. I've always had like super issues. I was trying to get a real thick first coat um, when I started doing these. I found just get something on there, cover the majority of the surface, and then once that dries, the second coat's gonna go on way thicker. Once that dries, your third coat will be like perfect. I'm also out of paint. I thought I had more of it. I don't, so I'm gonna have to run to Home Depot, and uh, but that'll give me time to let this first coat dry. 
All right, so now the first layer is dry. I actually just ran the brush over it again. Um, I didn't dry the brush uh, like I thought I did. Um, so like I said, normally you don't want it this wet, but it'll be fine. Um, you're gonna want it dry. Like I said, I just ran over it again, um, but it's gonna give you kind of a weird, like, oh, I can't see the screen. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's, it's really like barely on there. It's more of a translucent, almost like a frosted look, if I don't fall into it. <laughs> But yeah, that's what you want for the first one because the second layer is going to go like way, way thicker. And I'm going to go open the new can because I had to go buy another can of paint. Um, and the second layer should go on much, much thicker. Well, that's semi-awkward, I thought. Let me get this tripod straight. Uh, I thought I was recording that. But uh, second layer went on much thicker. You can see I dried my brush off and all that since I realized it was wet this time. And put a super, super thick layer on it. Um, in reality, you really want to just thinner layers, thinner layers, thinner layers. Um, but because I'm not using a paint can, I'm just kind of pouring it on, um, going a little on the thick side, but uh, should look pretty good. There's a couple spots you can see. Uh, I can get the camera to focus. Can't even tell. Uh, you can kind of see my hand underneath some of them. Um, and it's probably peaking the audio too. But uh, yeah, so I usually do three layers. That usually it's most of it. Some people will take a flashlight and shine it through. Um, I don't have any light coming from behind the tank itself, so I actually don't worry about that. I just do three layers to the point where visually I can't see anything through it. Um, but if you've got a light coming up from behind it or something like that, I would definitely do as many layers and try the flashlight test. Um, but yeah, all right. So just like that, the background is done. So I put three coats of paint, uh, and I'm probably gonna do a fourth just to kind of, you know, put a, a just a last coat on um, it's still drying a little bit but it's pretty much not see throughable at all you can see it's really really uh, not see throughable I don't know how else to show that it's really easy um, a lot of people get real intimidated by it, but it's a really simple thing that looks really good. It hides all the wires, hides all the equipment, and I like the black because it gives it a little bit of depth. Some people paint it blue, some people paint it white. Um, I know like Rob93 paints his red. Um, you can really paint it whatever color you want. I like black, it's simple. It goes with pretty much anything that I can put. I almost painted it white because this is actually a, an aquarium. I'm gonna use white sand and do kind of more of a bright look versus all my other tanks. I use black sand and black paint. Um, but I decided to go with the black anyways, just cause it's going to be pretty densely planted. So I figured just black behind it would look the best. So just like that guys, I'm um, sorry that I've been doing these kind of like vloggy kind of crappy videos lately. I've been trying to put more content out and I just don't have the time to do some of the sit down stuff that I was doing. So I've been kind of taking you guys along with my vlogging camera versus doing everything and just not showing you. Um, people wanted me to post more, so I'm trying to post more, uh, but I'm also busy and it's my busy season for work and I, I'm trying to find a compromise. So let me know if you like these vlog styles. I'm trying to do better at like the storytelling. I'm not used to doing the whole uh, like vlog as I'm doing something. I'm still getting used to that. It's, it's not my usual. But uh, yeah, let me know if you paint the back of your aquariums. I'm really interested. What colors do you use? What paints do you use? Are you an acrylic person or a latex? Um, let me know. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. We provide videos like this all the time as well as some awesome updates. This tank is going to be really cool. You're not going to want to miss it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.